yeah. <clears throat> Let's do a stream. Let's close that. Bring that up. Press this button. Press this one over here. Oh, that's how we put it. Now it should work. I have not, Dapos. I have not. And it's good to see you too, dude. Uh, Thukad, what kind of pizza is the big question? I ordered an exorbitant amount of Pizza Hut pizza for Halloween. And holy God, it was glorious. Got one of those big dinner boxes. My roommate and I ate it. Woo! Feelings, I'm still feeling like I'm still feeling the hangover from it. so my bros we got a fun one today we're gonna keep pushing Ruthenia and ooh just destroy Detroit style deep dish but yeah but what, what do you want on it what do you want on it Thukad? Um, we're gonna keep expanding our borders here gobbling up little portions in our last episode we went to take this land Oh, we went to expand over here. That's right, we went to take this land, but my vassal expanded his territory right there, and in doing so, he actually pulled us into another war. So, interesting little uh, turn of events there, but we still got some land. Carved up for sure. <laughs> me being constipated. It's just, it's just an, uh, a seamless stream of me trying to deal with what's going wrong in my body. Okay, let's take a look at our vassals real quick, because I want to trade, or swap. Um, actually, we can... Uh, where is this war? That's all the way over there. Pepperoni and black olive was a, like a... was one I always used to eat growing up. And I'm still a huge fan of it. Well... We can send this army up here to finish this off really quick. <clears throat> That'd just kind of tip this in our favor and earn us some renown. So maybe we'll do that real fast. Um, the Roos. What's up, Lehman Russ? How are you doing, man? Is B okay. Right, alright. Everyone for the most part's pretty good relationship with me. <clears throat> for her, what am I doing? I am trying to weigh my queen. My queen! Thanks, dude. I always see you popping in uh, across the uh, the channel over over a couple uh <clears throat> Couple videos here and there, so it's good to see you, man. It's not Kevin Roos. Kevin Roos owes me an exorbitant amount of money, Aaron Garulo, and I will get my money from Kevin Roos, so help me God. Y'all Grimney, I'm not gonna imprison my brother or her, so we're gonna close that. Uh, who wants council positions? You're sick right now, and I don't like that, so hopefully you recover, dude. You... Should probably get a position, but you are in a you are in a terrible state. Thank you very much, man. You didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate that lemon Le lemon lemon. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone that I just read Lehman Russ as lemon. Oof. You might, if you, if you want to cancel that donation, I completely understand. <laughs> We're here on what's up, man. But $2 donation coming in from Lehman Russ. Guys, we got some awesome stuff coming. Some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be changing the intro screen and all of the donations. I'm working with an, uh, um, one of the contract artists from Games Workshop. 
and here's the current working sketch that will become like an, an animated GIF pixel art that will be the Steam intro or the stream intro. So that's coming in the future. It's going to be great. <clears throat> um, but also it's going to replace, we're going to have a bunch of different variations for um, notifications such as subscribers, donations. Um, it's all good. American friends call me Lemon. Wait, is your name actually Lemon? A double $2 donation totaling up to $4 for the Big Daddy Russ for the Primark of the... Ninth Legion? Seventh Legion. Thirteenth Legion. Le uh, Space Wolves Legion number. Sixth Legion. Eighth Legion, I know, is the... Uh, Eighth Legion is um, Night Lords, and I'll never, ever forget that. Because if you've read the Aaron Dembski Bowden books, then you know why you will never forget that. When does Mandalorian Episode 2 come out? Fukat, I think it comes out on uh, Friday. Yeah, my, my Disney Plus account got hacked. I was... Okay, um, so let's send... How long does it... Okay, so four months, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to send him up there and have him go help out. <clears throat> oh, Thursday. Sean, uh, Sean says Thursday. We're going to unpause, let that go down. Corny, I didn't know that was a thing. I think my wife said to manage domains, though. For a reason, we're going to find out. Oh, no, we can do that. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's going, he's jumping over to that line, okay. Honestly, Rohirrim, I think, I, I kind of think that's what happened. Money's going up very slowly, so after we do this little military action over here, we will, pregnancy. Does this seem weird to you guys? Like, that's, that's weird, right? Doesn't it? It usually just pops up as a notification up here and tells you your wife has gained the trait pregnant. Okay. I, I don't know why that weirds me out. <clears throat> Ethan Bog gains 30 opinion of you. Jarl Halfdan, my brother. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, Sean. But if she if she produces a genius, robust boy, fine with it. It is the wife's first pregnancy. HW, good call there. Um, Matt says, other than the Night Lord's omnibus, what other forty k Warhammer fantasy books do you recommend? Let me ask you this, Matt. What do you want to learn about? And I can give you a better recommendation from there. Okay, that that makes more sense. I, I guess I didn't process that. I got a a top mods video coming out for you guys. Um, we can talk about. I don't really have any war targets here. I'm not gonna go siege. Guess I could. I mean, is there any? Attacking these armies? Ally, ally. This is the army down here. Do you have any allies with him? Not been taken? Well, that's where we'll go. Um, so, I got a mod, a video coming out for uh, my top eight mods for Crusader Kings three, and on that is the Prince of Princes of Darkness and the Br the Bronze Age mods. They're both really awesome. If you guys are looking for total conversion mods, those are going to be right up your alley. Looking, I've been watching this really cool video on YouTube about um, the the Sea Peoples that caused the Bronze Age collapse and how 
it wasn't maybe this mythological sect of people that that we maybe think it was um, that it might have actually just simply have been um portions of other anatolian factions or other portions of of the world like from sardinia or sicily that attacked into the bronze age and i thought oh. it's, it's been a really it's like a two and a half hour long video I'm sure there's anything specific i want to learn i do love horror things if that helps um yeah, the Night Lords is like one of the best horror, not really horror things, but I would read the Primarch series. The one for for Conrad Kurz is particularly good. It's probably one of my favorite books um, from the Prim Primarch series exclusively. Um, Horus Heresy in and of itself, I think, is a very fun read. There are some books that are absolute myths, and there are some that are really good. I would read any 40k novel that is by Chris Wright that has to do either with the White Scars or with the Space Wolves, and... The, Go the Gotrick and or Gotrick and Felix books are amazing reads. I would definitely go with those if you want to get a good just sense of how the world of Warhammer Fantasy operates outside of these grand armies. Um, the Burning Shore series is really good. With it's a specific thief, I can't remember his name, but if you like lizardmen and high elves and empire soldiers in the New World, Burning Shore is probably one of my favorite books on that. <clears throat> my daughter. Oh, well, that's a good daughter right there. After Cracker. Kraken. Um. Oh, is this is this just Athlog? Thousand Sun series is good. Are you talking about the one for um Araman? That one's good. The the ones the, the Blood Angel series for Mephiston is really good too. The the entire series for um, Ragnar Blackman is also very good. It's, so, William King used to be like the prolific Games Workshop writer next to people like Gav Thorpe and um, Graham McNeil and Gav Thorpe. Like, those are like the two bigger ones, but William King is a really big prolific writer that I would definitely take a look at. Major Mula, I saw. I definitely will stream it. They'll probably send me a key and some keys to give away. I'm an of Bellatrix. Hey, what's up, Ephraim Va? How you doing, dude? I'm doing well. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I kind of just took a little break from YouTube in the past couple days with the election going on. Every YouTuber I talk to, their views have been just absolute garbage and their ad rates have been garbage. So I didn't want to put a video out that would just not get viewed at all. And then people would say, hey, what if you you should do a video on this subject? I'm like, well, I did it during during the election uh, run. Uh, Stefan, I actually think that's history time that I was watching. Oha, dude, that is a good done. Done, King Auric. How you doing, Major Mula? Good to see you, dude. It has been an age. Are these guys at war with any... So I would like to make our council... I would like to set him to foreign affairs to try and shorten that truce. Um, what's up, Sanson? Down there. Corrupting schemes, which is good. Not swayed? Oh. What do we do? Because I thought we were going to pop off of this. And go to... We are going to go to learning. That was it. So, I think maybe we get groomed to rule and then switch to learning. Um, that will give us the original intention behind this character going to the scholar tree. Or maybe whole of body. 
But I did want to grab one more diplomacy trait here. Uh, confidence is good because each friend adds minus 5% stress gain and we got befriend, which is good. Dread, benevolent. I mean, groom to rule I think is really good, especially if I couple it with pedagogy. We'll just have super children. Your wards can get additional skills and can become your friends. Versus this, children receive one to two extra skill points. Thing work. Well, that's very awesome, man. Glad to have you here, dude. Sorry we didn't do a uh, history time today. It's been a stressful last 48 hours, so I wanted just to get some stress. Maybe Moravia is still on the map. Um, let's go Groom to Rule. I like this one. And let's switch over to Learning. We can't do this yet, can we? Nine oh four. So actually, we can do it very, very soon. Oh, good call on that king. Like Whiskey Jack said, please do make sure you're liking the stream. Turn it blue, as they say. It helps out any YouTuber you do watch. It pushes their. Um, I guess you could effectively think of it as a quality score up in YouTube's search ranking system, but makes it much easier for them to... Uh... There we go, that's pregnant again. A kind word. My path happened to have crossed... My paths happened to have crossed with King Helgi, and to my surprise, it seems as though he does not have a great impression of my friend, Queen Thornis. Perhaps I should take this opportunity to change his mind. Let's see if we can try and trick this one. Ooh, this guy. Other than lot. Over to diplomacy real quick. Okay, we just got this a little bit hurt, a little bit bigger. We make things even worse, worse for authorities. Well, 74% chance. Let's roll with it. Find out how that went. I tried to paint Queen Thordis in the best possible light, and King Helgi gradually started listening with greater and greater interest. When he muttered, I never knew that to himself, I knew I had made an impression. My friend is a great woman! Hey man, I will definitely be doing more Mountain Blades soon here. want to change the category from like from stewardship to learning i believe you can choose one of the three kind of subcategories in order to get this appropriate experience type. yeah absolutely yeah we just can't do it yet until right now <laughs> let me see man um which link did you use to donate with stream element I might have accidentally shut this off. Put off the wrong one the other day. One sec, guys. We're checking on a... Why? Yeah, I definitely turned. Okay, there we go. Been a good minute since I gave you some dosh. Good to be back. Also just got CK3 and getting into it. I need to rewatch your videos on tips for the game, but if you don't mind me asking, when transitioning to my heir, how do I keep my realm together? A $10 donation from Rohirrim, an OG, one, one man who's been a part of the streams for ages and ages. Let's answer your question here. So, the best way to probably keep your realm together is... Uh, first off, let me switch this first. Let me let me do this and then I'll answer your question. Um, let's go ahead and go with, I think, scholarship focus. 
Or actually maybe theology just to get the bonus for piety, but let's take a look at the character. Mastermind philosopher, genius, I mean, kind of, and he's very calm and diligent. I think we just got to go the uh, learning route here, scholarship focus. Ay, mija, que bonita. We'll go scholarship here for five years at the very least. We get quite a benefit from that. 40% more experience in this lifestyle. So we'll be able to burn through this like crazy. Um, let's also educate our child real quick. But let's look at your question. So Rohirrim is asking how he can deal with succession in his realm. So Rohirrim, if I miss anything, there is a whole video on it you can check out. Thomas Leaf, what's up, dude? But your big... Oh, bro, science for sick gains. God. Uh, that guy moved, Don Mazzetti moved very close to, to where I'm at. So, really what you want to take a look at is your succession panel. Seeing who is going to be your main player heir, and what titles, if any, are lost upon succession. So right now, because of the succession I have sent up, set up, I have selected who my heir is. Um, and it is... Jarl Grimnir Deerson. In a confederate partition, which you probably are playing as Rohirrim, it will be your oldest son. And you can disinherit by right-clicking, going to Hostile, and disinheriting. And it removes them from the line of succession. Um, this can be costly because you're going to be spending Renown. And Renown is what you use to spend into your legacies. Um, another way to go about this is basically kind, kind of ensuring that your primary title is a larger title than the titles that will be inherited by your children. A good example here would be, let's look over at uh, Ruthenia. Ruthenia is divided here by a number of duchies. And I have created three, or there are four, duchy titles created within this area. If I only have duchy titles and I give a duchy title to my heir, then all duchy titles that pass on to my other children, will ducal, ducal titles, um, will become independent autonomous regions. So to find a way around this, you want to make sure that your primary title is above all of the other titles. So this is an example where we are the king of Ruthenia, which is a king level title that resides above ducal and count titles. So that's the best way to ensure things go properly. And after that, you want to see how your domains are going to be divided up by your children. Because in a confederate partition, you look at this, confederate partition, under confederate partition, your titles will be divided equally between your children. New titles may be created for younger realm heirs. And importantly here is um, the player heir always is given the primary title the realm capital and any direct de jure, uh, de jure titles associated with it. And what that means is if I have this realm, uh, if, if I make this my realm capital, then he gets any associated titles that attach to that. So that's a kind of a way to, to kind of skirt around your succession by making your realm capital the largest duchy of course assuming you own those those uh, uh domains so see for example this duchy right here is huge right Kiev is what this is effect this will become called it will be named but i only own three of these domains within this duchy so i've made this duchy my capital and if i were to die my heir would take this over Correct, Breton. It will create titles, but not usurp them. I think duchy. Duchy. No T in there. You want there to be a T? I'll put it. I'll put a T in that ass. <laughs> Stick it with it. In the meantime, guys. Help me decide. We're going to start a poll right here, right now. Uh, 
I'm gonna paste a link in the in the chat. Watch, whoops. Which color do I get? The options will be charcoal blue or black. Start. And I'm going soft weave, weave fabric. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back up here. We're almost done with the siege. Yeah, and to vote, you're going to type exclamation point, vote, space zero for blue, space one for black. And we, there we go. We got a, ooh, we got a good amount of, of loot from this. I'm actually going to pause it before this ends. I think she, she's just a no one. You are stripped of your titles. Guys in jail now. Jailed. That's your court position. Really doesn't have much to go on. I think I'm just gonna go with the quick execute here, and I want to boost up my dread a little bit. So I'm gonna gain some piety at the same time, um, and this will help me to. Things good. Out of that too. Did we finish this war yet? <laughs> really, Thomas. So I've got a DX racer, and I just don't really like it that much. Yes, Ragnar had an affair with my mother and tried to kill me. That's why he is in prison. He'd be in prison, right? Yeah, he's in the dungeon. So I just want him to, to waste away in there. And I have I have removed. Can I revoke his claims? No, his, that's right. I've removed all of his titles and everything, so he won't... His children will get no claims on anything. What's going on over here? Devon's... Uh, that's not Shervin Cities. It's a, there's a different way to pronounce it. I don't know what it is. If you guys have another chair you want to recommend, I'm all for it. I just kind of like... Big back chairs I can kind of slide into and forget that I'm alive. Wait, what? <laughs> can this war be over with? That 99%, what more needs to happen? My daughters double t Oh, geez. All right, we, had, we got some, some twin daughters here. Good Norse name. It sounds cool. I like go. Good. Um, let's let's not educate both of our daughters. For position. Here, this cell gets got to convert. Watch this. Domestic affairs. That didn't work like I thought it would. Damn it! <laughs> Damn, I should have looked down. I'm sorry, or Oric. I've not looked at the new razor. They're huge, uh, but I find that it get, either rides too high or too low. I can't. Uh, how tall are you, Thomas? That might give me a good little perspective on you. I mean, on, on the chair. <laughs> There's perspective on you. and make a lampshade out of your skin. I love you both equally. Split them in half. So, what's to be done here? We've gotten 99%. This should just be crawling up on its own. What does it say? What's the minus one? Battle's lost? Oh. Go back to uh, our lands here. Oh, he 
So y'all, he created the uh, Yaldum and Visby. So which is what is nice is that everyone has sort of. And okay. Um, what's nice is that we've we've effectively. Well, I'm standing right now, corny. But when I play like. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima and stuff like that when I'm sitting down, I like to... Sure. So King Auric asked, so how are you expanding? White Roos next or south towards the Holy Site? Um, let's actually look where the Holy Site is. The Holy Site is not controlled by Sawakia Soyonska Prada. Prada. So, I've heard Prada means either... which I've heard it means justice, but I've also heard it means truth. I think we'll leave the my uh, the Myars alone for now. Although we could probably rival them, and the my biggest concern, Oric, is the Ruthenian Empire or uh, sorry, the Russian Empire. And in order to create Kevin Rus, not to be confused with Kevin Rus, we have to found a new empire. We need all of this. And if we do this, we can create the name. Oh, okay, okay. Placebo. I know that was very poorly pronounced. Not a native. Or Russian speaker. But I have too much Russian pronoun. Um. So, we want to do this. And this will allow us to name our empire. And that's how we will name this the Yevon Rus. Otherwise, it's just the Russian Empire. Slavish. Slavish or Slavic? Is there a difference? Uh, so we're currently at 21. We would need... Uh, so you have, you have two alternatives here. I can just grab 120 territories, or... I get three or more kingdoms at a realm size of 80. And if we look at the kingdom titles, Ruthenia itself, we will probably be able to gobble up, sorry, or soon. If we get this one, it is... I wish it told me how many counties are in here. It's like one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven are in Galicia Volhynia. White Rus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know if we count this one. It's either, it's either uh, 16 or 17. So, if I control those three kingdoms, 17, that is 8 plus Ruthenia, 1. And 20. 20. 20 is would be all of Ruthenia. <sighs> so 20, that only puts me at like 47. Or 47, 48. Between these three kingdoms. If I went with these three kingdoms. But, I think if we go with these three, that might kind of... If we go White Rus, Vladimir, and Ruthenia, that might kind of put us in the ballpark. And also, they, they make up the Russian Empire. Take a look there, too. Vladimir. That's one. 
That's a huge barony. Or a uh, uh, county. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That still wouldn't do it. Uh, eleven, twelve. So twelve. That still wouldn't put us at eighty. That would put us at around. Let's just say sixty. Essentially, we would just, we'd pretty much have to, we'd have to gobble up all of what Russia is. <laughs> uh, Russia is 71 uh, de jure counties, and we would need 80 and three kingdom medals. Oh, Holy shit! Jackson Williams, the largest donation of the month, dropping in, headed back to work. Good luck, brother. I can't wait to see the whole thing. Well, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate your donation. That's so huge right now. It has been a very slow and weird time, so I really, really appreciate that, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Very huge of you, dude. But uh, we'll see you on the next stream, my dude. Um, Corny, we are still Norse. We have not converted to Russian just yet, but I think we should. In fact, I don't think we lose, like, anything. Now uh, we lose mustering grounds. Russians got... Don't have cult... Oh, uh, yeah, we lose a lot. Oh, actually, to be honest, we lose a lot. We're going to lose three innovations. Uh, they are. They're, they're, they're controlling a good chunk of it up here. We, Corny, we went, we went with the religion, yes. We we got rid of popular uprisings really quick by doing a lot of really good um, early diplomacy, and it really paid off for us. In fact, I think I should probably try and befriend my brother. 60% on this. 66%. It's true, King Auric. Please win this this fight and let it be over with. How that? How is that? That that was not it. That wasn't. That wasn't the fight to end the war. Why are we stuck at 99%? I see no way to tip this. Me too, Aaron. Me too. I like actually, I like our, our uh, long trips a lot. What's this strat to, to sort out my holdings? Um, I, I thought it would, THC. It's just kind of chilling there, though. I don't see any other lands. We'll disband the army, though. That That'll be... That's good. I don't have to worry about it. Um, what's the strat to sort out holdings? Um, what do you mean exactly? Like what during succession, or is there a specific instant? I mean, it kind of looks frozen. I hope I didn't mess something up by playing around with some of these mods. But I shut them all off. I like I removed them from the game, so it shouldn't be much of it. Sparkle blue wind.
Okay, go back at this. Where? Let's take a look. Yeah, we'll uh, chuckle blue. Now let me, let me reboot the game real quick. I'm actually going to even. I'm going to re-download my mods and shut them off because they're still on in the, in the actual favorites. You guys would like to see kind of a I'm sure you guys a little teaser of of the these are all the mods that are that I put in the top eight mod video. So if you'd like to ask any questions about them, please by all means do so. Back to here, open up three again. I just want to make sure that this isn't it's like causing that issue. Because you gotta you gotta know is if you do download any mods and they are not Iron Man compliant, then they will break your Iron Man save. So be very careful. I it's only if you load it though, so you don't have to necessarily worry. There we go. That's all the mods. They are now completely done with. I've shut them off. Rohirrim, I think any mod can really grant you eternal happiness. Browse, subscribe to items, and let's just subscribe again real quick just to make sure. That should be, that should do it. Be good. Booter back up. My campaign, the dudes I grant titles kind of run off doing themselves. Um, Kenny Jensen, so what I would do is make sure that your tribal or crown or clan authority is high enough that it doesn't allow them to kind of go all buck nasty out there. Um, Matt Ross, what's up, dude? Um, that I would really worry about and just that you don't want to really have things get too out of control with your vassals growing themselves, but I typically will hand off holdings to other other people within my court that are content, that are trusting, that are um, content, trusting. What's another one? List means crap right now. Um, ambitious is one I would never give it. Oh, humble is another good one. Humble is a good one. But, but vengeful, ambitious, you don't want to give um, to those people. And you typically want to look at their culture and their religion. Because Craven, Craven's another good one too. So Yoshi, what's up, man? Um, you want to look at their culture and their religion. And if it matches up with the location you're giving it to, then you're going to have less popular opinion issues. And also, you can convert that individual to your parent religion if it's different than yours this is a great way to basically expand your empire have a bunch of different religions and then get those religions under tow quickly yeah worry about deceitful vengeful and ambitious those ones you do not want to have in any kind of power because they'll try to do schemes against you they'll try to grow their own lands and then war against you like you have to kind of be careful with those i think she might be ambitious no actually she's not surprisingly So that still didn't reconcile this. Kind of spooky. But it is what it is. Girl, folky. Yo, what up, no peace, just war? How you doing, dude? More people all of a sudden. Those duchy here, which is not terrible. Do I have two duchy titles? I only have one. So me getting a second duchy title is not a bad idea. It increases my prestige. 
That too. King Oryx said, don't give land to people who have claims on nearby areas because they'll gobble that up and become very strong very fast. We're going to try, Aaron, but it might be kind of... kind of might be difficult. The biggest problem is we don't want to run into being able to create the empire and then dying because then they'll it will create the empire for me. This is a confederate partition. Let's see here. I think this might be just the best way to go though, bros. Is just push 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 west and eat up some of this territory. Because it's so fractured right now that it'll be easier to get into. If we push north into Pinsk, Pinsk is allied with a ton of people. So they're allied with, that doesn't matter, with that guy, which isn't terrible. Oh, it's down here. That doesn't matter to me either. Down there. So, so their allies aren't too scary. Work done outside later for now. All right, Zach, here. Have a good one, man. They are winning in this war against the cities down here. Let me see what happens. What is their... Not necessarily very at all, especially considering he's my vassal. You don't want much of that land or the kingdom, but yes, correct. Like that's the the kind of the spicy situation is you don't want to create too many kingdom titles before your ultimate goal has been achieved. Because if I die, it will create that kingdom title, and the kingdom title is parallel to my king title. So. It will then create that as a um, a separate nation. What I can still do though is because we're still Norse, we can use that to use the Scandinavian elective if we create another king title. Uh, Scandinavian elective is per title that you that you per primary title that you want to assign it to per king title. So if I get White Roos, for example, which has already been created, I could then. Excuse me. Add the law of Scandinavian... Um, what's it called to this? Uh, Scandinavian elective. Right, we could gobble up this territory. Yeah, but Corny, you don't want to necessarily fracture your realm. It's possible to take some land from all kingdoms, keep it under threshold, and that is actually a good point. So... Pinsk would give us, what kind of war could we even do with them? So we could do, a, oh, we can't even do duchy because we're illustrious. Ooh, uh, we don't really want to do, I mean, I could subjugate them. We can't do that. I don't have enough here. What's up, lol, haha? Them, but I don't think Dave we Weber said with two kingdoms you can make one elective and scheme to vote for your heir make the other kingdom your primary title and this way keep both on success Aww. Um, I don't think we can go on a hunt we're missing so much gold, so what we do got to look at is how ripe for the picking Kent. Ooh, the Kingdom of England has been created, and they are not at war. So I do not want to go picking down that door. These guys are losing a war to France. Kingdom of Brittany. And this might be worth coming and raiding. We did this before, and how is their... Yeah, their strength is so low, so here's what we're going to do. We'll take this over here. Oh, we can't... 
Can't do any raids because we're so far. <laughs> Wait. How oh, is this not a thing yet? Guess I have oops. Yeah, I wanna We'll we'll raid Canterbury for 63 and then hopefully Dover itself for 29. Dorset does have Ooh. Dorset was pretty poor here. There are some juicy targets in England, but I can attack all of Brittany. This is 99%. Why? It's just saying that the war score from prisoners is zero. Um, but Brittany's like, I can... I can loot this entire land. Don't have glass. So I struggle to make out the tiny letters in the scroll before me. I feel a headache building. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I'm 22. What's wrong with my eyes? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle. With the aid of a stone of glass, even old men struggle. Even with bad eyesight could read with the ease. This is my mom. I believe. No. No, she is not. I don't want to spend money. I don't want to give everyone a, anyone a hook on me. <sighs> yeah, good call, Corny. If you raid with your king, you have a chance to increase development. Um, I guess we'll go this route. I mean, I would like to do this, but it's going to put me into debt. And I won't be able to raise an army if I do so. It's not really bad. Let's just go selling, I suppose. Ooh, 300. How close are we? It put us nearly at a level. Also, there was a name. Heck for you. Um, let's go with just selling everything, I think. I'm always on the fence with some of these. Like, oh, that, that. I'm basically spending 50 gold going into debt for 300 learning experience, which is great, but we're getting so much. Yeah, it looks like. Like she's not about her character's name. First name's her. Okay, well. Yeah, not here for me. Fortunately. Guinness, I actually do want to try that, but I think we we no longer can because we've switched over to uh, this and we no longer have um, uh, human sacrifices. Human sacrifices, which allows you to raid for captives. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, screw it. We'll go into debt. 36. I want to get that. Those. Um, okay. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to use the restroom real fast. I've been drinking tons of liquids today. We'll pause that, too. I don't want to go too far. So give me one sec. Be right back.
Well. That was interesting. Hey, Hater, Hater Ollie, what's up, man? How are you? <clears throat> um, I couldn't help but notice that you said that you think I'm bad. Care to back that up? Outside of just being an asshole in chat? Because now you've, you've, it looks like you've pissed off a lot of people in chat just because you're being abrasive, so. Let's see what nonsensical statement you have to say today. I'm good, Paris. How are you, man? Silver hand, thank you. It was indeed a restroom break that turned from a pee to a poop after a very deadly fart. <sighs> I still can't sway my wife. We're just going to back it. it. It better be Matt. Travers, always a bad sign when a man gets back from the loo and says, well, that was interesting. It definitely was. The Battle Brothers, the poop was done. It's one of those ones where, like, you're sitting there and you fart and go, oh, I should say. Yeah, I mean, Hater, we, we play... The, the way I stream is entirely... For fun. I'm not trying to game the system and completely shut everything down and do things fast and, and, and furious and just try to, to break it. Like, it's not the way I play. And if you don't like that, dude, by all means, close the stream, man. Like, if you play a different way, that's not my problem. We speed things up, we slow things down. Some people have a problem with that. Doesn't mean I'm bad at the game. Who gives a fuck? I'm having fun and the people watching are enjoying it. If you do not like that, like I said, there are plenty of other streamers, and that's totally fine that you don't like that. It's cool. But don't bark up a tree expecting to get uh, uh, people to rally to your cause. Alright. Unfortunately, we have to raise our armies again. Because this war is just not completing. And it's slowing down my Raiden. Because as you can see, it dropped down to 51% because this 500 point ar or 500% is doing some uh, rabble rousing. And hopefully with a new person included into it, we'll be able to have fun. We don't even need to get a whole ton of people here. Ooh, we don't even have enough to leave. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to... Uh, well, we did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ooh. So King just died. He's no longer a ruler. Elgi has died. How did he die, by the way? Died from his wounds. Oh, no. We have lost our, our alliance here. Dude, look how north they've grown. But that's okay, we have got options. See if we can marry into that. So, I want to keep this in the bloodline. So I'm going to keep her... I'm probably going to do a... Um, a what's it called marriage? Or a matrilineal. No, Paris, you're fine. Uh, this guy came in saying, like, this guy's so bad at the game. I mean, it just is. People are going to be like that.
Yeah, I mean, I've, I've noticed when I play this game solo, I buzz through it so fast. Like, I'm playing at such a fast rate now, especially because I know many of the mechanics, that I almost always play on five. Because I'm just, I'm playing, I'm pressing like one and five nonstop. It looks like he doesn't have any kids to marry. Arrange marriage with this little bro. Sister. Yeah, let's get that going. That's a good route. Um. Damn it. I wonder why he won't accept this. Hmm. When you have when you have given holdings to someone, how to keep them off council? I mean, if you have no more room in you, how to keep them off council? Uh, do you mean like how to keep them happy without them being on the council? You can give them titles, you can sway them, you can befriend them, you can now give them gifts. Um, those things help out a lot. Daughter. Okay. I want an alliance. Isn't this making an alliance? Oh. Not daughter. He did not like faiths. Do I mean... So, if I increase his opinion of me, playing my wife, it's just not going well, so we're going to stop that. We'll see how that goes. It didn't, it didn't look like it. Portacali, to answer your question. Encounter dukes in your court take concubines. I believe any ruler in a tribal court can take concubines. But not according to my religion. My religion is monogamous, with monogamous with no concubines. My sister can marry, though. My sister is beautiful. And I'm kind of about. This would give us an alliance with the Mayars. Isn't terrible necessarily. I don't really want to go that direction, but more remember Bulgaria. The problem too, though, is when you get into a, a really big alliance like this with a kingdom like this of Bulgaria, they're going to pull me south into wars with the Byzantine Empire that I just don't want. Um, also not that strong by comparison. His, his forces are super depleted. I can marry this guy, or this dude's children. What in the fuck? How does he have 9,500? Oh, special soldiers. It must be a ton of, uh, um, what's it called? What is this? Event troops? Okay. Did everyone get these event troops? Do I have to worry about event troops? Ah, uh, special decision to settle in Hungary that, may that the Mayars get. Okay. That... No, I was like, I'm wondering... So... 
I was wondering why this, uh, when I go to do my arranged marriages, take a look. Sorting it by alliance power, it has them at the top because they are beefed up because of those event troops. That's just super cool. Yeah, they're going to want to go to Pannonia, but it's going to pull in... Like, if I married to Bulgaria, it's going to pull me into that war, and I don't want any part of that. Estonia. That's oh, Denmark. Uh, so, I thought... Oh, I see the little hearts. She's old enough to marry, and I should probably marry her off. It solidify another alliance. I think it'd match a lineal one. Be, that'd be ants up north, but they're going to run into a, a fight right here. That's not bad. This will make it so that White Roofs is at least allied to me, and we have married that bloodline into ours. We might just go with that. I think that's probably the best bet. This keeps a close ally that whose wars I wouldn't mind jumping into. They're right now not fighting with anyone, which is good. And they're allied with portions of this. So I think this is a good bet. We'll go with that. Look one more time. Thank you, King Oric. I did not know that. Yeah, I think this is this is the best bet. We'll go here. It's matrilineal, so that'll bolster my line more. So we just disembarked. Let's here. We're off. Who is this? Bonus. I want my brother because he has a siege engineer. Oh, Jesus Christ. The curse of death has fallen upon my court. A cause, a case of COVID-19 has been discovered. The unfortunate victim is my courtier, Rogan, uh, her. Uh, the taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all. While she remains afflicted, no life at court is safe. Well, I mean, isolate her. Isolate her. Get, get her away. Want you to do. Out to dad. Ooh, she's my court. She's my Verdunia. COVID six. What's the best way to make your kingdoms not split between your kids when you die? Um, ensuring that the primary title is the one above the titles of, of the people that are receiving it. Okay, so should I banish her? Like, what do I do with this? Like, I don't want... I, oh my... She's like the worst character I've ever... Never wanted. I dismiss her? Do I, dis, I dismiss her, right? Like, get her away?
gonna cost me some prestige, but get rid of her. You can go deal with that somewhere else. That is like Skeletor over here. <laughs> Send her to the Mayars. <laughs> Guys, I got this really lovely woman. Marry her off. That actually would have been pretty interesting to do. Okay, so they want to do that. Well, let's do that. Station these besiegers. Reorganize these armies. Oh no, he died from malnourishment. Ho oh, oh. Who could have seen that coming as I kept him in the prison his entire life? Where's the first army of it? Have an have an army out? Interesting. Okay, so let's do this. So we've split this army up. Um how many okay, there's four hundred, so um, nine hundred is actually kinda of, okay. Let's just make sure that that there. That there. And there we go. That's fine. Like this army. David Weber dropping a five dollar donation saying, "Keep up the good work." I gotta go back to my work. Thanks for the distraction. Absolutely, man. Glad I could. Uh, glad I could uh, uh, distract you for a little bit there. Uh, Elon, I'm not really sure. We're gonna figure that out if I just dodged a bullet there, but I haven't had to deal with too many plague events, so. Oh Christ. The outbreak of smallpox, which has ravaged my court, is finally over. Its victims have all either recovered or departed from this world. My steward, Paxe, ensures me that all bodies have been properly disposed of and that the tree, the threat is completely gone. Oh. That's because he has a, just a ton of learnings. Good on him. Good, as I wanted. He would make a great commander, and he's a giant. Let us put him to the court. <sighs> Look at that. We have captured the hostages that matter. End this stupid war. Thank God. What I just did there is we disbanded everyone because I think you get a free disband. And now, let's take a look at rating real quick. Um, we're going to do, yeah, let's do these two. Are they at war? Great, they're at war, so they're going to be even, they're going to be so distracted. Woo, let's get a good little uh, raid in here. So raise all raiders. Vital donation here from Paris. Thanks for the stream. I wish the game would make it easy to marry Matilda of Tuscany so you can gain her lands, but it is almost impossible. Why? Wow. All right, Paris. Thanks for jumping in, man. Be on the lookout, my dude. We are going to be doing some... Um, and what's it called here soon? That thing that I can't think of off the top of my head. Mountain Blade 2. Mountain Blade 2. That is coming back for sure. I do not want him to be a fighter. An evil maniac? I kind of like the cut of this guy's jib. Not funny. But 
He's got a bunch of claims. Alright, let's get Raiden here. Have anyone who helps out. Pause that. Apply duration feed to organizer for now. And we'll swap this over to either me or a raider, which actually I don't think we have any. Now we don't have any raiders, which sucks. But try to try to create one of those. Go down here, Bishopric of Canterbury. Fun we can do. Oh. Work on foreign repair. Thank you guys all very much for your donations here today. We've gotten quite a few of them. I haven't streamed the past couple days because it's been, like I said, just very slow on YouTube. So I took it as a chance to just take a little bit of a break, and I really appreciate like you guys making it rain, especially the weird situation that we're all in. It seems to be getting worse and then better and then better than worse. I appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. This is my full-time job, so... You guys, uh... You guys, make it... I want you to... Die. I should probably educate these children. Um... Educate child. This actually, this is a good idea. We'll do this. Fort. Christ, what? On. You can educate a kid now. That'll do. That'll increase his opinion, and then we can convert him. Which is going. I'm kind of okay with having educate both kids. Just to kind of get the daughters. I I could do it. Probably maybe I should, but I'm I'm counting on having some boys that I wanna really spruce up. Whoa. So here's our first raid. We have, our, we have just grown from uh, obscure to insignificant. Good. Talking to me now. Many existing alliances. I barely have any existing alliances. I might have a lot of existing alliances. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can see the entire date. European. Oops. Okay. I think we're friends. Let it be known. Italian Spartacus is friends to all friend to all Scandinavians. Perfect. Perfect. So let's take a look at this. We have some pretty impressive stocks here that we could do. And if we raid this barony, are they at war? Yeah, they're still at war with France. This is a really good target. So pretty much. Brittany is nice because it's on its own. It's pretty much isolated. And it has no troops. So we are going to pillage our way through all of these lands. And we're just going to go one down. Like, we're pretty much going to go one, one, and we're going to go through everything. All the way around in the loop. Back out. That's mother. Cool. 
Y... The whole point of them is to get... Execute her. When's it come out? Does it come out in a couple days? Um, Mark, it's it's not on. It's not going to be. A, it's only on console right now, right? You can't get it on PC yet, that I know of. Armbjorn. Oh no, your soldiers. <laughs> They were valiantly slain. And we're doing this with my self as the leader. Um, but you're, you can see the... Oh, I guess you... There you go. And this has got a 7 development versus our development of 5. So this should boost us. Uh-oh. All right. My brother-in-law has informed me of an obscure law in Chieftain Carol well, that states that the king may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Chief Distrib Dobrenga, my vassal and current ruler of the chief place. The law is clear. No, we don't need to press this claim. Not worth it. You know, Crisps, I know. I know it is not historically accurate at all. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to be fun to play. Uh, I don't think I'll play it on the channel. I just enjoy playing those games on my own. Uh, I don't think I've beaten Assassin's Creed since Assassin's Creed 2. Black Flag was a fun time. I have I love Odyssey, but I still just haven't beaten it forever. Uh-oh. Well. Probably join him. There it is. We got it. The settlement of Rojan, an important stronghold in Greater Rene, has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of King Rodore to choose from. The troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direct. Oh, I... Black Flag was probably the last best true Assassin's Creed game. I will give you 100% on that. Development progress increases by 80, the development level, but mine increases by 40, which is perfect. Bring me bounteous blunder. What do you, drunken, or what do you, drunken sailor or lion? Or wow, this is actually kind of getting a little, uh, little, uh, a little out of control over here. Whoa, that's getting huge. This war is getting massive. Actually, it's not. Uh, that was just a bunch of crap-ass armies that joined him, might be. All right, Donald Duck. Have a good one, man. Wait, Ave? Like four years of that fucking length. No, Bogdan, no! No! My, <laughs> my spy masters drank himself to death. Alright, we got an empty council position. Who can we fill it with? I don't think we have any good spy masters. Got this guy. I don't know if I want necessarily to have my half brother who has claims as spy master, and I think it's gonna be this dude.
European Patriot, I understand what you're what you're asking and what you're what you're trying to do, but I want to just keep everything in chat and on the stream politics free. It if you are in the States, it's kind of a really anxiety inducing, stressful time, so I like to make sure that my stream are a release from all. So I appreciate where you're going with it. I understand what you what the stance you're you're trying to take on it, but I do not make I do not talk about politics period on my at all. Only that they exist. Okay, this is gonna be good. This will help me out because we do have a, we still have a different culture. So this will this will hopefully kind of tip that. Gonna keep doing this. I'm I'm a little wary. Of anyone attacking my lands. But should be okay. Andre, what's up? Rivet. We swayed him. Let me let me marry your son, dude. What is he not like? And it's level of splendor. Different faith, minus 25. How many alliances? Stop cock blocking me. Denmark? Saw it first, dude. All the just Oh, infiltrators, huh? It's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Hongir the capital of King Ake. Um I try to announce all that. Locals newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to exception of me. This goal to make sure you heard. Press. Yeah, we can We're about to get a whole ton. My son! Damn. Damn, Arn fast. Supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> Choose a good Norse name. Daniel. That's all I got. Sorry. That has become a cursed name. A cursed name in this family. Last Ragnar slept with his stepwife or stepmom. Canute? Why Canute? Why you guys want Canute? Canute Bellison? You know what? I I should. Does does anyone who has donated already want to name a child? I feel like that is something I should have been doing, and I totally forgot that you can actually fucking do. Newt or Harthur? What does what does Knut mean? What, like, Eric means um, the great king. Ryan means little king. Because it entity. What if we've donated a child? Halfdan. Halfdan was our is my brother currently. Halfdan Deerson and then Halfdan Bellison. Newt was Saxon. Wessex, I think. Dagobert. Dogbert? <laughs> 
Arnfast was his name is Arnfast right now. Grom? Why Grom? And I kinda like Grom. Ooh. Mirror is a good one too. YouTube Warhammer community is not the same without you. Please come back to it. I'm here, Major Mula. I'm here, man. I'm just kind of waiting, my bro. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for... Um... Rom is this... Polish for thunder? Oh, dude. That's kind of sick. Well, and it's funny because isn't Velus the... Uh... Oh, no, Velus is like the Loki. Um... Watan is Danish king. Knut is an Instagram. Hence the... And a grand for cut. Um, cloak mode on? What's cloak mode? Perrin is the god of thunder. Perrin is thunder. Velus is the is like the is the shamanistic one, right? We'll go Grom, because I think it's fun. Um but, Major Mula, I will be going back to more Warhammer lore as soon as Warhammer 3 is announced. Batman. Yeah, man, Batman. I swallowed an entire cherry. Joked. Alright, we have made... So much money this run. We have filled our coffers. Daddy Warbucks. Maximum style, of course. I will get when the next time I can name something, that will be the name. Uh Andre, I think it does if you want to learn about history. So Chadwick Pufflebottom the third. Beautiful Herculean genius. Auric, that would be awesome. We're already kind of winning this war. How far into it? They're 12 months in, so we have another 12 months to join the war before they get a little pissed off at us. We have a pretty girthy little army over here, though. Fucker. You know what? Let me stop this real quick. Wait, my bro. Friending him? 59%. They're off swaying him once. The uh, Slovak accent is uh, decent. It's not very good. It's not bad. I had a Russian strength coach who moved to Boston. And he would always, like, talk to me in, like, pseudo-Russian English. That's how I learned a lot of, like, semi-Russian words. Uh, and he has, he's not around anymore, so I'm not constantly exposed to the Russian accent I used to be. I feel like I had a way better Russian accent. Um, okay, so... Can't I make these guys not in raid? Oh, okay, they're not in raiding mode anymore, so we will swap you guys. Uh... No, actually, I don't know any curse words. I know, like, uh, Devi. He would always yell Devi. Devi, Devi. Let's see where we're going to drop first. I think this is a good one just to kind of quickly ransack and destroy. Is he attacking his own land? Oh, it's a different symbol. It's very close, though. Sukobliad. I mean, everyone knows Sukobliad, right? Um, Thicknarf asked, Pope Francis just asked, um, how to fight superior armies. You want to, uh, yeah, Devi is like, is like, come on, let's go, let's do it. It's like, it's like the same thing as like uh, saying Dada in Spanish. Um, but to fight superior armies, you want to try and use the terrain to their best advantage. So fighting on stuff like this, on wetlands where you have defenders advantage, advantage is going to be your best your best thing.
So trying to use that, that defender advantage to the best of your advantage is going to be hard. Ooh, this is not going to go well here. The Kingdom of White Roos. But I'm going to come in like a glorious phoenix. Why do I have to get pulled into all these wars and lose all this fucking fame? Come on, man. If you know I said no politics, then don't fucking say anything about politics. Like, I take a hard line against that. Let's see. I'm not necessarily worried about this war, I just don't want to get pulled into another one, but... I'm not, I'm not down to lose the fame for it. Oh shit, guys. Misha's here. You best not mess with Misha. Yeah, that's what we're probably going to do. They're already kind of crushing that one. Kind of got to be careful here. Don't want to get a huge disembarkation penalty. Then jump into a fight immediately. Let one of these help with that. <laughs> kind of moderate to leave this comment of mine. <laughs> Dude, Misha will Misha will gladly do such things. Embarkation should lift here soon. There's so much going on. Look at all of these little wars here. We got this thick dick army. So, if you build extra castle holdings, they need to take all those castle holdings. So, I think building extra ones, especially as you get into the later game, is nicer to solidify certain portions of them. out this big army. Commanded by ruler, commanded by ruler, commanded by ruler. That's good. So if we smash this army out, <clears throat> there's a chance that we could really do quite a bit of damage to You can go whales, yeah, hundred percent, Julian. Whales, 
Wales actually has a pretty interesting, cool little start, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, they're fighting. Brothers are fighting. Sure. Trying to expand. Yeah, of course should I. Um, I actually like Stellaris. I love it. It's a really fun game. Uh, there would have to be an expansion, I think, for it for me to play it right now. Because there's so much stuff coming up. Aha! We met their army. And so, since they've taken this, we get to defend in the wet... They... Yeah, we're defending the wetland. Our champion. Who did? Champion? What? What? How much? Good lord, man. What's your prowess? Oh, Like that. That's good. They'll both be, uh... Version? Army's getting a little depleted here. That's okay. Ooh. That guy was just, like, gravely wounded. Disfigured. So let's see. Champion. Oh, no! My big dude, my big, my new big dude was just disfigured. That's okay. It only hurts your diplomacy. Is there anyone here with a heritable trait that has to do with, like, ale? Damn. Robust. Mmm. Perfect. 14 years old. Giant and robust makes her just monster soldiers. Guys, my brother just called me. And he got, whoa, he got maimed bad. I don't even understand why he was on the front lines to begin with. That's not good. Well, we got to get him off. He, he might be dead. That's unfortunate. Because he was a pretty good physician. I don't want to spend money for him. I didn't even see that he was a fighter. That's setting. Yeah, I, I would definitely do a, um, I would like to do one outside of or to search for physicians just in case. Uh, essentially King Lark, essentially, yeah. Um, I would probably want to do something like Alexandria. 
Um, but I'd probably go back to 1066 and we'd probably do something around. Something a little bit different, a little more fun. But we won that fight. It cost us our, our physician, which is kind of unfortunate. Go down to here to Pinsk, see if we can get some prisoners. Yeah. Right, our core physician just died. Oh no, just uh, counselor. Oh shit, balls, man. <laughs> our spy master, our new spy master, just was just killed. I don't really want. I I don't think making him my spy master is a good idea. Neither neither of these are necessarily great. <laughs> Travers, how dare you? Yes, the brother who tried to kill me was my spy master. That's why I'm like, I don't think this is a good idea. I, I mean, he likes me, but he's at war with my other brother. Oh, good call. Yeah, we should do some of that. Let's do that, Patrick. Let's find some some of those. Um, both of them failed to impress me. Unfortunately, I don't know if he's going to make it. That sucks. He was a real strong dude. And he oh, he's also my steward. Oh fuck. Well, at least he could be a good good replacement. Let's try and find some people. Have some courtiers off here. I can marry off my mother. That's kind of weird. So we're going to look inside our diplomatic range. We're going to look for unmarried. Not a this that could work. Oh, inheritable. Good call. That's what it was. We could probably get this dude in. A lot of people already have. This isn't terrible.
doesn't have any congenital traits. That's not. That doesn't necessarily matter. It's just to bring another um, potential high learning character into the into my court. I don't want to marry my son. Definitely not. This court here might be good, just to get him producing more kids because he's got Herculean. Um, but it might be better to marry him to someone with giant to make super knights. He's just about ready to come of age, which is even better. Honestly, I could marry him to like a daughter. Like if I married this, this and they had a kid, that would bring um This Kuno. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Well, Christian, we're, right now we're trying to uh, figure out... We just got like a rash of issues with our court. So we're trying to patch that those issues up by finding people to marry and bring them into the court. Uh, Pat Milburn, they just changed that with the most recent patch. They will now breed, which is good. So let's go back to this though. Okay, so unmarried. So we're looking at this person coming into our court matrilineally. I don't want to marry daughters. Oh, off all. My Vidunia. I suppose it's not necessarily a bad thing. Do I have top realm selected on the on the C? Oh, good call. Thank you. Should be inside diplomatic range. I had top realm up, and that was not good. Let's try and let's try and get this resolved first. Marcos, Marcos could be very good. Conrad could be. Marcos got deceitful, shy, and vengeful. That's for a spy master. Thank me. All right, Whiskey Jack. Thanks for jumping in, dude. I appreciate your help, my man. Today, man. Kent Craven. Ooh, Sardinian. Arrange a nice marriage here, matrilineally. Hope you have a relaxing day. Thank you very much, Panzerd. Are you heading out too, dude? Fuck that up. I want to. Press this button. Pop it. Oh, impress. No, it Never looks like I can't fall. do many options. Do I, do I keep fucking that up? Thank you very much, Panzer. I appreciate it, my guy. Oh, perfect. This will this will do. Oh, he won't accept that though. <laughs> Different faith. Uh, yeah, that's a big thing too. Uh, let's let's sort by faith here. Throw a feast, you beast. And do. Covetous knave.
You could be good. Very good. I heard. Ooh. Yeah, I know I could do by court, but... This might be a pretty good... I don't have any good options there either. Fuck, dude. He's a reveler. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to top realm. Uh, yes, the stars have a sense of humor, especially it's like space wolves. Space wolves have like a huge sense of humor. Oh man, brutal here. Anyone? I actually didn't betroth anyone. I, I was looking at one and didn't press the button. And I can't, I can't remember how I got to that screen, to be totally honest with you. So, kind of fucked. Go back to Top Realm here. Well, let's look at Top Realm real fast. Passionate Lackey. This guy looks like he's probably the most apt. Gotta be matrilineal. Yeah. Perfect. So he'll come join. Oh, fucking damn it. Well. Wow. <laughs> Dishonorable planner, though, and she's lustful, which means there's going to be a lot of craziness happen and deceitful. <sighs> do we make that risk? Do we run that risk? Do we do we jump into onto that situation? I don't have any options here. You won't accept these. And it is a low born. I'm not gonna do I'm definitely not gonna do my son. Even then she wouldn't accept it. Blackguard, oof, don't want to deal with that either. Did I, King Oric? Uh, we don't, I don't have, um, the means to make a concubine. Uh, it's not allowed in this religion. I have all. I don't have any like single men.
He's already on a court. Probably not one. Except, and it is lowborn. Can't invite champions yet. Gotta wait until the almost the end of this year. Man, we are in a situation, my bros. Well, let's just put this guy in for now. That at least just have someone in, in this position. And I just want to move forward a little bit. Knew he was going to die next. Knew he was going to die next. Oh, God. The steward we can fill easy, though. Uh, this guy was actually a better steward than the last dude, so it's okay. I'm going to just put that in there since we're going to have to do it right. Alright, well let's take a look at the court again. Let me get some with good learning. Now this can be, this should be a little bit easier. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Well, I think this is a good one. What just happened? Where'd that guy go? He was just probably overthrown. Row here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Position's the one that died, yes. Mm. Ooh, it's just... I need an HR manager for sure, man. This is ridiculous right now. There's so much crap going on. He's getting to be the core physician in the meantime. Because we just need to, I mean, you can't go into fights without one. Um, and I suppose... I don't want to put him on the court because he's got claims. Although, there's nothing bad about those claims. I guess it's necessarily not a terrible thing. I could put my half-brother on court. He is diplomacy, but he would switch over to steward and it would be better. My wife's kind of terrible at learning, unfortunately. Although I suppose it could. Which DLC would I like to see? Something having to do with Eastern nations. Her learning's pretty terrible, though.
jealous and hurt. Bet. <laughs> the problem with this is it's just not going to produce any kids, and I don't want to waste that Herculean. <clears throat> better. And he himself is, could make for a very good vassal, which is interesting. It would be a better spy master. <laughs> I still need to fix this though. That's okay. Doesn't need to join for another two years. It's okay. Go with that. I think that would be the best way to go about things. Back to it, finally. Jesus, that was kind of rough. Uh, the shrewd trait. I'm not sure. I, I, It is some event I think it was. I don't remember which one, though. Strong? Um, strong can be usually like some sort of martial life event. The Stark. She's here. Oh, Sosna. Whoops. I want to know about the screw trait. That's going to end this war down here. Good. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh. There, take that. Take that. Take advantage of that while you can, man. Just going to sit on that one? War now. Walls and precedents. They already have the war targets. Not at all, so. That's okay.
That's actually kind of okay. He has expired. But... Hey, half sister into that. That'll do. Take it. There, that creates our di our uh, our. Northern Alliance. Perfect. He's expanding that border westward for me, which is nice. We can now attack this and take out these locations, which is good too. I don't know ultimately what requires to... Oh, no. Perfect. Got that alliance. We have some. We have two really strong alliances right there and there. And I don't think I can get pulled into. Um, do you know how to get the adventure trait or Varangian trait? I, I'm trying to do the Varangian one, but I don't know how to do it. My lord, my Vidunia approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a copy of the compendious book of calculation by completion and balancing. He refuses to sell it to me. If you make him see the error of this way, I would be in your debt. Okay, I think we could do this. Hmm, this book sounds interesting. This 50. We should learning by one. I assume though, if I give this to her, it'll help her learning and I'm okay with that. Favor hook too. That can hurt. Yeah, I don't know how to create the the um, the instance that allows me to. This guy, lands just got depleted, buddy. Stop doing it. Oh no, they got they increased. Oh, that's good. Let's see if we can get that done. Oh, that's a witchcraft book? Oh, I should have taken it then. Oops. Oh. Didn't, uh, I don't think I meant... Oh, she died of cancer. Yeah. That's sad. So, this should replenish now a little bit. Lands. Come back up with supply, which is... No. Fuck my supply up. Back down in supply. <laughs> gonna split our army in half. Half is gonna go. Cousin's been released. By splitting this up, they're going to re replenish their supplies independently. I'm going to bring them back together. The further I delve into my studies, the more apparent the link between mind and body becomes. Too much worry can make you sick, and the mind is no stronger than its vessel. I need a healthy outlet to cope with the strain of ruling. I have read about the benefits of vigorous movements as well as journaling to soothe frayed nerves. So we get athletic, the 50-50, or we get Journaler. Learning plus one, stress loss plus one. Athletic gives us 
small health boost and prowess and stress loss. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like athletic is the way to go. Um. They had Greek fire around this point. I'm still baffled as far as I know. Yeah, uh, uh, Byzantines had Greek fire still. Uh, Spanish, the Spanish did during the Reconquista as well. All right, we'll go with journaling. I think it, I think from a from a role playing standpoint, it makes the most sense. Ah, uh, I do not feel relaxed, but my writing is improved. I'm not going to join this war. I'm going to have them win the war on their own, and then we will we will uh, fight this one on our own. Now we can combine our armies, and just in time for this war to end. This cut pink skin half, which is actually kind of nice here. Makes it a little bit easier to deal with now because we can gobble them up quickly. No, Greek Greek fire was more potent napalm. Think of it that way. Fight some champions for sure. We definitely need that. Okay, so that has happened. Vandal. Pause. Let me take it. This is going to be a legitimate pee. Be right back. Two minutes. Seconds. I like part of me wants to do like a, a a Byzantine Anatolia playthrough, but try to make Hellenism. Like we could even play as Troy. Um This is this is Troy, I think, right? Um where's Troy up here? Troy is around here. Try to make Troy and uh like reform uh, Hellenism, I think playing the Sultanate Sultanate of Room over here would be really cool too. What's up with all this? 
lot. We have very few champions. Okay. No one of necessity. Worth. Uh, yeah, my children lack guardians now. Colossus at Rhodes. I don't remember when Colossus at Rhodes uh, was destroyed or dismantled. Okay. Learning. I think we'll just go to Vidunia again. I always love this. The Wallach. South Slavic group. group. I just unfortunately go with this. I agree, like, I really like to choose, like, really fun playthroughs that are historically driven. Like, that's the goal here, right? And we definitely have to expand some land. Oh. Why, dude? So they immediately attacked into that. They're playing Bannerlord. I love Bannerlord. I have also been trying to play Crusader Kings 3, but I have failed miserably so far. Sergio, then you are actually succeeding. That is that is exactly how you do it, my guy. It's it's a slow, tedious game, but I promise it gets better. You just kind of have to, unfortunately, suffer through some stuff. We're joining another war because I'm about to lose 700 fame. All right, so we got, let's let's make a decision on what to attack here, real quick. Um, this war is going down, and I want it to kind of run its course. I could offer to join it, but I want them to do this war on their own. Yeah, right. They're rampant expansion wars, um, so we we will. I can fight for this duchy and it'll be good. So we'll, we'll do that in time. I don't know. Can I declare war for... I can't declare war on duchies. And that was the problem here. Still not high enough fame. We need 600 more fame. So that is annoying. Let's do a call for a hunt. That should solve that. And let's decide how we want to expand. We could, we could attack Pinsk right here. Yeah, this is good. We could grab this. It's part of White Roos, but I think that's okay. This guy will probably do that war on his own. But we could grab this, which which would kind of shore up this border, which is which is fine by me. Um I think once they've resolved this war, it's good. We, unfortunately, I would like to do not a bad county to have. But I'd rather get a duchy. Like, grab that. Plus, or Poland. Even this whole duchy is, say. Why not subjugate White Roos? We could, the problem with subjugate, well, A, they're my ally, so we can't break their alliance. And the problem with subjugation is that if I subjugate the crown of White Roos, I now have a second kingdom I have to worry about. Um, I'd rather perhaps take up portions of Vladimir, which isn't part of really anyone's territory for the most part. It's got some Khazar territory in there, which also is the remaining portion of my... Thenian territory. So we could go to war through Then uh, with the the Khazars and try and gobble this up. Like this whole duchy would be pretty. I don't want to win. He is beat up, dude. Look at that. Oh man. 
Like this duchy would be pretty, or this whole duchy title would be good. Individual counties, though. Oh, much. Uh, in a Confederate partition, Corny, it'll still be created, though. No, it's not out of left field at all, actually. It's a really good call, but it pushes us really far south and into Mayar territory. And I don't know if I necessarily want to deal with that. I think what we have to do is... Yeah, the Khazars had a really big independence war that they've now gobbled back up. And the Mayars have pushed into them, too. But the Khazaria is still very potent. Let's see what happens with this. Who are you? Why are you even... Who's the other big guy on this list? Here? Why is he my... He should be my player. That's crap, isn't he? Yeah, we gotta do something about that. So, what we gotta do here is... Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit, guys. Big Daddy Chris Baldwin checking in here. TTV Briss. What's up, man? How you doing, Chris? You would think it... You would think it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest fox I have ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It is still an imposing sight lying dead before me. Its head will look beautiful in my great hall. We get hunting trophy, which helps out prestige gain. It should be a trophy for my brother. Give it to a chief, chieftain Sturker here. Which isn't a terrible idea. We eat it here and now. You gain opinion. You gain opinion. And you gain opinion. And I lose stress because I'm gluttonous. Uh, I really want to play a campaign where I've found a religion with the sense senate uh, senates I think you mean tenets tenets of literalism legalism and Alexandrian catechism then get the more doctrine mod and choose to be an atheist. Uh, any advice I would play 1060 um do you mean the the rural kids or do you mean like which like white Russ is who you want to play or Rus? here. Giving it... The hunting trophy is nice because it helps with prestige gain. Like your lifeblood. Giving it to my brother here. I'm gonna make him my friend. I'm gonna try to befriend him after I befriend this guy. That might not be terrible either. Because we're dealing with this active kingdom succession right now. And... While I have six vote strength, other people have a lot more. Like her, for example, she's got a ton. Why? It's, just, it's usually because of development. We want to try and be able to force this vote. Yeah, I'll go with Chris Stricker on this. Only one. And I can already. Okay, I, Hunting trophy it is. So let's do this. Why is Belmas? Well, development modified by faith and culture group seven. I think once we convert to once we convert to Russian, that won't be an issue anymore. Look at this guy. 
They're coming aboard. Chemistry better than skinning and electric. I actually don't know. Yeah, the music very very soothing, Chris. Or, uh, Chris. What is Kievan Rus? Kievan Rus is the precursor to the state of Moscow, the state, uh, to the state of Russia. A lot of action going on. My guys here. Ooh, they're fighting the Mayars here. Trying to expand a curse. Okay, I'll take that. You can do that. You can do that big push. It should be okay in that. Or you know what? That might be a good chance to double up on this. Because they're fighting a lot of fights. And they're losing a lot of fights. So this might be a good time to try and... Still, I can't even fucking... Oh, it's It's frustrating not having the ability to fight for a duchy. Only being able to do it for a county. Yeah, hopefully the steward will start to start training himself. Anonymous do donation of five dollars. Don't know what it, it doesn't. I don't have a message and it doesn't have a name, so I don't know who it was. But thank you very much for your five ducat donation. Nothing cheers me up like a mouth-watering poached pear. I set a serving prepared by my personal cook to Jarl Ivan as proof of my good intentions. The gesture turned out to be a disaster. However. As he had a servant throw, however, as he had a servant throw it out without even tasting. I'll apologize for my excess. Ooh, shit. Well, I mean, it's only 48 stress. I'm about to host a feat anyway. What's up, Hugh Gedney? How are you, man? Pick a fight for a county with a big dog faction. Build for fame. Um, what exactly does that count as? Are we looking at a superior military force or just a larger sized army or larger sized faction? Back. Oh, there we go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Is this worth 48 stress? I can't write in journal because I did not get the decision journal. We're gluttonous. I think we just have to be... This has to just lose progress, which is different than power. Yeah, I know, but... We're, we're guardian to, to some people, I am, so it's like I, I kind of don't want to get crazy with it, but. Another donation! Bad man, but jam, keep up the great content. Big Daddy Chris Baldwin. Guys, if you have not watched my friend Chris and I play uh, um, Phasmophobia, he just threw a $5 donation, but here is his Twitch channel. Go ahead. 
and give him a follow. Um, if you want to watch us play Phasmophobia late at night when we're getting scared and screaming, that's where you'd watch it. It'd be on twitch.tv alt bris. Chris Baldwin, personal friend of mine, good dude. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. I, I did it. We took the stress, but let's just go ahead and do it. The feast. The feast. Nice. This is good, too. I wish he had flowing long hair. He doesn't, though. So if we do this, then... Let's declare war on county. By fame. Oh, because they have a vastly inferior army. Also vastly inferior. That's all. Everyone's just beat to crap. Still only 75 though. Hmm. Yes, you're correct, King Oryx. So um he's saying that if you look at these buttons, yeah, they have green and uh red text, it's because he's still below 15 skill. So above eight and above allows you to get positive effects. 15. Sorry. 15 and below allows you to get... No, 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 no. From 0 to 15, you can get negative effects. But from 8 on, you can get um, positive effects, and anything over 15 removes your negative effects. For example, there are no negative effects on this 16... Maybe this... But 16 plus, 16 plus. Thank you, King Or. Yeah, so... Maybe it's 17 plus, man. I'd put it in the video. The vid video on Vassals, I discussed this, but... Uh, when they've got that red text, it means there's a possible negative effect for doing this action. Uh, whereas, you know, in this case, it's going to cause extra taxes, which is great. Plus extra taxes. Or county corruption, which is not good. It lowers your uh, personal opinion. Yes, it is. Uh, we could go raiding. Go raiding back down here into uh, Byzantine Empire once more. We can't, unfortunately, raid, though, because of this... Maybe we just go take part in this. Smash him out. And that could that could earn us some serious fame. Be a little bit further along the way here. Let's go ahead and raise all of our armies. Yet again. That's not good. Yes, she can too. She takes her skill divided by two, rounded down. I think. No. Rounded down. Dear, you have a very you have a name I like. No, holy crap. What is going on here?
Uh, we're trying to create the the historical empire of Russia, Chris. So the, that uh, oh shit, my lord, the wine is cracked open. The next barrel has gone bad. Has all gone bad. All right. Wine gets better. Every drunkard guest in your tennis gains twenty. Every guest gains ten. A fought thirst. For increase piety. Or uh, increase uh, prestige. It's not the. It's it's mainly I don't want to lose counselors. That was what I was worried about. Jovial tune. I'm inspired to dance. Some Stella Rosa. As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Thordis approaches Kraka and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the hosts. Well, sure you. Household efforts. Kraka deserves all the credit. I'm diligent, but I'm not a man of hubris. No credit where credit is due. These are the locations that I'm at war with. Gotta walk my ass up there, huh? <clears throat> As my guests depart, we had a great time at your feast. And all these weird little, like, all crap ass army. That 2k army is looking real juicy. Good. I'd love to marry a witch, but I can't find any. I haven't found one in some time, actually. I'll support this bro up here. Yep. Push him with him. I don't want that crap. I, I'm way. I, having him have a hook on me is really bad. A promise of dedication would send a strong message about my good intentions toward Jarl Ivan. Anyone appreciates a powerful favor? No. That's how you 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 get manipulated, and they end up putting like uh, like punji sticks in your butt. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta pause right here. Gotta go this direction. Okay, so I don't make it in time. I think he's gonna get out of that. So if you're if you're looking at these lines, this means they can still be altered. Their course can be altered. But if it's grayed out like this, they're locked into that movement. You can see he's almost done moving that. Yeah, I can solo that army for sure, but I just don't want that army to get smashed out. So I guess I could charge up here. Take it. Perfect. Got a friend in you. Got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Yeah. Hello, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I didn't see that army coming up on him. Oh well. That's why you don't like to use I don't like to use five too much. Oh. 
Gotta just see how this plays out. Happens. Not a big deal. Damn it. Oof, a lot of wounded in battle, though. Lucian, Lucian's helmet is sick. Oh, damn. He was imprisoned? Oof, that's not good. As far as I've been... I've seen, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to happen. I've seen with my own eyes what I've only heard before. The stars move at different speeds, of course, at different times, but seemingly in large groups. Depending on which celestial sphere they belong to, and with the right calculations, one can predict their movement. However, Dune does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be. The celestial realm is for the, the Vesh to know. Hmm. Look at my character. He's a philosopher. He's a genius. He's calm. He's diligent. Uh, he's a partier of sorts. He's got a wide vocabulary. He's a hunter. He's a household uh, uh, advocator, you know. He gives credit where credit is due. Would he peer into the heavens and take a path of cynicism? Or would he take a path of zealousness? Um, I kind of... I honestly think he'd probably be on the route more of, of zealousness if he is such a philosopher. The philosophy, I guess you could say, is inherent in sort of sense of cynicism, but any genius heirs yet? He was a genius heir, but nothing yet. My son's a gambler. He's a child. The four-year-old kid. Is he? There he is. <laughs> the real, he's a real Grecian. Zealousness is not questioning anything. Ah, I see. Insight in the heavens, stewardship and leadership, prestige. Earthly focus just gives us monthly piety and clergy opinion. You know what? We always go zealousness. So let's go cynic. I want to give my fucking brother back. We're retreating all the way through the long haul here, all the way down. Hey, he was released. That's good. He he ransomed himself, is what that tells me. We do not have church taxes. And you know what? We're coming about to the end of the stream here. I don't have any soldiers. This might be a good. This might be a good place to kind of leave off. I'm back at this. Um, probably. What's today? Today is Wednesday, so we'll come back Friday and Saturday. I've got a, a video. Which pizza is best? My favorite is black olives, pepperoni, and Italian sausage. Like hands down. Let's go ahead and pause this here. I think this is a good place to end at. We just lost that war. I think it's a cool little uh, staging point. They have a pretty beefy army, and we're going to have to chase that down in the next uh, episode here. And we're going to start speeding this up. I'm not, I'm, I might even stream tomorrow. I just want to get that video done. You guys, please do make sure you're liking the stream. It does help me out a ton. Uh, competing with, with uh, 
election coverage on, on YouTube has been kind of stressful. So we will have a video coming out tomorrow for all of my top eight mods for Crusader Kings 3. And like I said, I showed off a little bit of those earlier. Um, but we will have a lot of fun here in the next couple days because I'm going to hit tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully, I might break up some of those stream days so I don't get too exhausted. Um, but we're going to have a lot of fun doing some, uh, just trying to push this campaign to completion. Uh, it's going pretty slow, though. We've, we've kind of hit a little bit of a stalling point, and I think in this next episode, I'm going to focus mainly on expansion and trying to really push out and get uh, more land into this land. I mean, we're only like 25, 26. Actually, we might actually just be into our 30s now. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate it, dude. Where do you aim to end this campaign? Uh, after we create the Kievan Rus Empire. So however long that takes, whatever that entails, that's what we're going to have to do. Um, I don't really have an idea of how long it'll take. Hopefully, it'll only be like three or four more episodes. Philip Mother Russia. Uh, you think this is, a, this is a good problem to have? Make Russia a big, strong United Land. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we push forward because now we're dealing with a lot of smaller nations that we have to gobble up. Guinness, thanks for jumping in, man. ShadowCon, thank you very much for watching. Let's give some thanks out to all the donations today. We had quite a few. Uh, Big Daddy Chris, Chris Big Dick Baldwin, TTV Alt Briss, dropping that $5 donation. We had another $5 anonymous donation. Um, 715 from Panzerd. Thank you very much, man. Major Mula with the 586 uh, asking me to go back to the Warhammer community. I never leaving. I'll, I'll, I'm there, brother. Don't worry about it. Uh, Paris with a $5 donation. David Weber with another five. Paris with another two. So totaling out to seven bucks. Uh, Jack Jackson. That's Jackson Williams with a $35 bomb. The largest of the month here. Swinging in hot and heavy. I think the largest last like three weeks. Uh, Rohirrim with a ten dollar donation, one of the OGs coming in from the uh, from the Nether Realm. Lehman Russ with four dollars in donation. Ephraim Va with five to top us out for our total donations here today. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. We were we are going to have another one uh, probably tomorrow, but look out for that big video that we're going to be doing for the top eight Crusader Kings three mods. I think you'll have a lot of fun with the two on there, the Dark Princes and the uh, Bronze Age mods. You can find, if you want to see gameplay of them, you can actually find them on my buddy Surreal's channel. Go ahead and check check out Surreal Beliefs. He has those uh, playthroughs of those campaigns on his channel. But everyone, please wash your hands, stay safe. The wild world out there right now. But hopefully we'll all get through this together, my bros. But as always, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good one and take care. Try haggis pizza. I mean, I would try anything twice. I'll put something in mud. What a statement to end the stream on. Crisps just linked Surreal Beliefs channel. So if you want to check out Dark the Dark Princes, Princes of Darkness, Princes of Darkness. Or if you want to check out, um, hey, YouTuber, what's up, dude? How are you doing, man? Or if you want to check out uh, the Bronze Age mods, like full on gameplay of them, you can find them at uh, that YouTube channel for Surreal Beliefs. Uh, but you'll be able to see the, the video tomorrow that features those two mods. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good one and take care. Absolutely, YouTube. Thanks for jumping in, man, at the very end. We're going to be streaming tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, some combination of all four of those days up ahead. But again, guys, take care.